Hello everyone, my name is Confident and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own real-time chat agent and this can be anything it can be your own voice assistant can be your own voice agent as you'll be seeing in this call and for today's uh, video i'll be showing you how to build a voice agent that can respond to a call and act as a stripe store agent so instead of going to a website like that typing in a store website selecting the product and paying for it through stripe you can directly call the number of this agent and it has access to the store and can perform actions for you as you'll see in this video. So we'll be starting shortly and uh, I'll show you what this uh, whole application is, how it's put together, and then we'll wrap up by taking a look at the code for it. And I'll show you how all of this is built and deployed on Powerful Workers. We're going to be using really awesome tools. We're going to be using Twilio, we're going to be using Stripe, we're going to be using OpenAI's real-time API, and we're also going to be using Resend. And of course, all of this is going to be running inside of a Cloudflare agent. So it's really awesome. And I'm really excited to show you how all of this works. So let's jump into the demo and I'll show you what this is. So taking a look at what I have on my screen right here, you notice um, on my Stripe dashboard and I set up my Stripe account such that I have three products added to my catalog. So I have the Zero Trust Dad Hat on my Stripe dashboard, which of course is going to show up in my Stripe store. Um, I also have the Cash Me Outside tote bag and the Warp Speed Cloudflare hoodie. And you can see all of the price for these three items. So imagine this is a store, the store has three products and users are able to purchase this product. Now, what you traditionally do is build a website to display this product and set up the workflow such that users can pay through Stripe. That's traditionally how you build applications like this. But this is the age of agents. We are going to build an agent that is going to enable the user to uh, have a conversation with this store and then purchase products that the user needs to, to get added. So I already have this application built and deployed. It's running on Cloudflare Workers. That's the URL of the application. But what you're seeing right here is a front end that displays the transcription between the user and the store agent. How we actually interact with the agent is through a phone call. So I have my phone right here and I'm going to dial the number of this store and have a conversation with it. I'm going to put this on speaker so you can hear this. So let's go. I am dialing the number. Connected. Hello. Hi there. How can I help you today? What products do you have on the Stripe store? We currently have one, the Zero Trust Dad Hat, a comfy cotton hat with an adjustable strap. Two, the Cash Me Outside Tote Bag, a sturdy organic cotton tote. The Warp Speed Cloudflare Hoodie, a cozy hoodie perfect for devs. Let me know if you'd like more details or pricing on any of them. I would like to buy two Zero Trust Dad Hats. I've created a payment link for two Zero Trust Dad Hats. You can complete your purchase through that link. Would you like me to send it to your email as well? Yes, please. My email is confidence at cloudflare.com. I've sent the payment link to your email. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to help with. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for shopping with us and have a great day. Okay, I just ended the call. So it's been able to help me purchase a zero trust or two zero trust that hat. And it sent me the payment link on, through my email. So let's go to my email and see if that has come true. So let's go to my email and that's it. This is the email containing the payment link. So I can click on this. And as you can see, we have the payment for the product, Zero Trust Dad Hat. We have two of them, that's why it's 60 pounds. It's uh, 30 pounds per hat. And I can go into putting my credit card details and continue with the payment, and this is awesome. So we've just had a conversation with a Stripe store 
using an agent and this is really exciting i'm sure you're wondering how is it that all of this is put together how is it we're using all of the different providers i mentioned earlier i'm going to show you how all of this works and then we'll move on to taking a look at how it's written in code and how to deploy it to cloudflare so to show you how this works i have put together a github repository I am going to have this linked below in the video description so you can go take a look at it. Uh, this is my GitHub profile, githubcom forward slash megaconfident. Don't forget to smash the follow button over here. But what we want to do is go to the repositories tab and the Stripe store agent repository. And this has the source code for the entire project. So what I'm just going to do is scroll down and show you how this works. I'm going to open this image in a new tab. This looks good. And this is a diagram explaining how this agent we have just uh, demonstrated, how it all works. So the way it works is that when you make a phone call to the agent, the call goes through to Twilio. And Twilio sets up a WebSocket connection with the agent, which is running inside of a Cloudflare worker. So there's a WebSocket connection. There's a kind of like handshake to figure out what the WebSocket endpoint is. And Twilio establishes a WebSocket connection to the agent. And that's really good because the agent is doing a lot of things. Like it's the brains of the application. I kind of think of it as an operating system where you can install applications on. In this case, the application is Stripe, Resend, OpenAI, and you can add a lot more to it. So this is the agent. The agent is connected to the Stripe, my Stripe account using MCP. And that is really cool because Stripe supports the latest, greatest standard, which is uh, streamable HTTP. And that's connected to my agent using MCP. We also have another tool called Resend. It's for sending out emails. So the email delivery service you saw earlier is powered by Resend. And that is connected uh, via a tool call, not MCP. So you can mix and match what connections and what protocols to use to connect to tools when you're building agents on Cloudflare. That's really cool. And for the inference, we're connecting to OpenAI. So we're using OpenAI's real-time API. You can use other providers like DeepGram or Eleven Labs. That is also going to work just as well. So when a call comes in, our voice from the call is forwarded to Twilio and Twilio forwards that voice through WebSocket to the agent. The agent receives the voice, forwards it via WebSocket to OpenAI's real-time API, and that performs the inference, generates a response, which is in audio, and that audio gets, gets forwarded back to the agent, and the agent sends it back to the WebSocket connection coming from Twilio, and we hear that audio response play through the phone as the agent responds. That's really awesome. Now, what happens when the LLM figures out it needs to run a tool. So when we say something like, hey, I want to purchase to zero trust dad hats, uh, the LLM is able to detect, I need to call a tool. And it has context to all of the tools we have connected to the agent, which is the Stripe MCP server and the recent emailing tool. And these tools have description on when to call them and what parameters to call them with. So what happens is that uh, when a tool call needs to be invoked, uh, the agent, uh, the model tells the agent, hey, I want to call those tools with this parameter, create an execution context, uh, run, run the function for either the Stripe server or the recent tool and give me back the result so I can tell the user uh, what the status of the result is. And the agent does exactly that. It creates an execution context to run either a function from Stripe or the recent uh, tool and sends back the response to the agent, uh, to the model, and the model forwards the response back through the agent to the WebSocket connection on Twilio, and you get to hear the response on the call as well. But something really cool is also happening here because you saw we have a front end for this application, which is a transcription of the conversation I am having with the agent. That's possible because the agent is again acting like an operating system. So it's able to uh, it's able to receive the transcription states and store them in memory 
and then push them via web socket to this front end which is being hosted by the agent itself so this could be something saved somewhere maybe in a database somewhere else where you can uh, go back to look at all of the conversations people have had with your agent and maybe do something with that data but that's all powered by the agent and this is really cool again this is uh gonna, i'm going to leave a link to the github repository for this project so you can go take a look at it and get it deployed let's wrap up now by looking at the source code for it and how all of these pieces come together so i'm going to switch to my ide and i have the repo cloned locally for this repo you need to set a couple of um, environment variables which you find in the dev.vars file again the repository also includes everything you need to set this up so the setup guide is also going to be here in the repository if you want a written uh, step by step guide but the most important part of this repository is in the source directory of course and we have the index.ts file. So this is where we set everything up, including the agent class. Again, the agent is a worker. So we have uh, a fetch handler that responds with a request that invokes an agent when the fetch request comes in. And the agent handles a lot of things. So let's go take a look at what this agent is doing. The first method here is the on start event. And that's what happens when this agent is invoked. Like what do we want to do when this agent starts? Uh, what we want to do in this case is a couple of things. We want to connect to the Stripe MCP server and that's exactly what we're doing here. So we're connecting uh, to Stripe and more importantly, because the Stripe MCP server has admin access to my Stripe store, we don't want to give this agent all of the admin access. We want to define exactly what tools is included in agent that relates to just managing the store front end only so these are the tools i, I created a list of tools that the agents should have access to from my stripe mcp server and that's all it has access to tools like uh, create uh listing products figuring out the price of the products creating a payment link and all of that uh, that has been included here and we also add the email tool because we need to send out emails so if we go back here we have a tool for emailing which is the one that enables the agents to send an email to uh, the customer's email address and again this is powered by resend as you can see uh, resend does the email sending we have to tell the agent this is a tool you can use and that's included right here on this line which is the end of the on start function now the interesting bit happens when a connection comes in so we have a bunch of connections like you saw in the diagram we have the websocket connection from twilio we have the websocket connection to the open ai real-time api we also have the websocket connection to the front end for pushing up this like a lot of things happening here so when we receive a websocket connection from twilio uh, what we do is we create a websocket connection to open ai because we want to have the agent be the uh, server that connects the voice coming from your Taylor call to the inference happening on uh, OpenAI's real-time API. So we create a WebSocket connection to the model. Uh, then we add a bunch of event listeners to set that connection up such that we can run the inference the way we want. And what's happening here is that if we scroll down a bit, uh, when we receive when we receive an audio message from the Twilio connection, we directly get that sent to the model, as you can see. We get that sent to the model. The model takes a look at the audio inference that is coming in, does the inference and spits out a message. We receive a message from the model, which is what you see in this line, and we figure out what to do with this. Is this something we want to send back to the Twilio connection, which is the call connection, which is gonna be an audio response from the model sent back to the call, we do that sending here. This could also be a tool call, remember, because the model can figure out, hey, I need to run a tool to perform this user's uh, request. And this is where the model does uh, the figuring out of, hey, I want to call a tool, and that tool actually gets executed and the response gets sent back to the user. So this is uh, literally all of the code, and the rest is just like housekeeping for the WebSocket connection. And literally, that's it. It's really easy to build. Uh, this is just 208 lines of code, and it's really simple to build. Cloudflare makes it so easy. And when you're done building and you need to deploy, 
just run npm run deploy and this should get it deployed to your Cloudflare account. You can also deploy using the button here um, in the repo and that should get it deployed to your account. And of course, don't forget to set up the API keys. So this is all awesome. I would really love you to check this out. And I also want you to check out agents.cloudflare.com. Uh, don't forget to uh, get subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And I really love to see what you build using Cloudflare agents. All right, that'll be all for me for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.